Doctor Doom has come to Fortnite and a new Marvel season has started. Cool, cool, yeah, new mythics and all of that. But do you wanna know what's even cooler? Turning an ugly tough man into a comfy chair. Eating that huge thick Thanos ass. Or turning Captain America's heart into a heater. Galactus go cup. Moon Knight, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Thor, everybody, so many Marvel characters just dead in a single day. That's right, not only Doctor Doom has come to Fortnite, but in the middle of coming, he has killed so many Marvel characters just so quickly, just destroyed all of them. He has killed some of the Avengers, he has killed all of the Fantastic Four, there is like Galactus, there is just so many, as I said, so many people he killed. There is a total of 16 different characters that Doctor Doom has killed in a single day in Fortnite, Marvel characters and so on. That is just genuinely insane. Same. First off, we got the most important one. Probably also the most popular kill of Dr. Doom, which single handedly got me 7 million views on Twitter. 7 million! That's oh insane! God. First off, we got the thing from Fantastic Four. Not only Doom has killed him, but then he took the remains of that character and turned it into his own personal throne. A throne legit made out of the dead remains of your enemies. That is like the coolest, like the hardest thing a villain has ever done. Imagine killing someone and then just like, I'ma turn you into my throne now. Like, do you remember getting off thrones? Like, the sword from that shit is garbage. Then we got this. But then Dr. Doom sees exactly as very would count as the lap of the thing. So, uh, is he gay? The next kill in the list is another Fantastic Four member, Human Torch. Doom has also killed him. But then he used his magic to only keep the heart of Human Torch alive. So the heart keeps burning and becomes free unlimited fireplace for his personal room. My man doesn't even have to pay for heating up his room in the winter anymore. Unlimited heat. That would be so useful in Canada. I need it. Now on to Sue Storm, the invisible woman. She basically got a cage and a chair in it. So she could be like the collection of Doctor Doom while being alive or maybe her dead body has gone invisible. This one is kind of confusing. He died of a heart attack 25 years ago. No! Yeah. In that very chair. He's still there. Now it's time for the final Fantastic Four guy. The one Dr. Doom hates the most and the rival of his. Who he practices his aim on every morning. Mr. Fantastic or Reed Richards is not really killed. He is somewhat alive right now. But dude, would you look at this? He has been wrapped around and turned into a football now. To make things even worse, you can actually see him move like a little bit around in game to show off that he's actually alive being in that form. But honestly, if I was alive and turned into a football, I would have rather to die. As you can see, all of the Fantastic Four members, while being dead or destroyed, they still have a chance to return and kind of get revived. So there is a still a chance that we try to save the Fantastic Four from being abused by Doctor Doom, especially the ones that are alive right now. But we can't really say the same things for the other ones I'm gonna bring up right now. <laughs> First off, we got this picture of Doctor Doom using Pandora's box powers. Apparently, with these powers, he killed many of the Marvel characters at the same time. Those starting with Silver Surfer, who Doctor Doom has kept a piece of his surfboard as a collection of his. Even dang Thor. Doom killed Thor. But he can't turn the hammer into a collection because he's not really worthy of picking that thing up. Iron Man and Captain America. Which since their shield and mask are not really part of the Doom's collection anymore. I would say that Iron Man and Captain America didn't really die to Doctor Doom. They kinda got wounded in the final battle and kinda ran away, escaping. So they should be hopefully still alive. And now, most importantly, the guy who tried to help us fight Doctor Doom since the last season. And the guy who also brought the Marvel heroes to help us thanks to these reef beacons. Yeah, Magneto died trying to save us. He legit died trying to help us since the last season. He's dead. He died. Like one of the strongest Marvel characters last season being like, I'm gonna help you go against Doctor Doom. And Doctor Doom comes in like, nah, -uh, bitch, you think you can fight me? Get the fuck out of here. Wait, wait, is it Magneto? 
Dear sweet God in heaven, let it be Magneto, because with him, he's dead. Fuck! This has to be the darkest Fortnite storyline season yet, and I love it. Now, along the other trophies of the people he has killed, we got Thanos himself, the strongest Marvel MCU character, dead just, just like, like that. that. Namor from Black Panther movies. My man Doom legit killed Galactus. The guy who we spent an entire season trying to defeat him, stop him from eating the zero point, and all of that. That's insane this 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 guy is so strong how is hope how how is hope trying to fight him right now <laughs> Then we got Moon Knight who's supposed to be immortal. But even immortality is meaningless against Dr. Doom. He's dead. Dead dead. Ultron too. The guy who's legit a virus controlling robot suits. He even managed to kill the virus. Doctor Strange, one of the strongest Marvel characters ever. The greatest sorcerer. Or maybe he was. Because he's dead. Sucks to be you. And if you remember, he also killed Gunner in the past of the storyline too. Basically, Dr. Doom do be going kind of crazy in Fortnite right now. He's just going out there left, right, pah, poof, bam, 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 killing all of the Marvel characters just up, down. Some of the strongest Marvel characters ever too. I have no idea how we're planning to like fight him. Do we, do we really think we're gonna win against this guy? Really? But what I can say right now is that for sure this is one of the best Fortnite storyline seasons like of all time. It's time to get back into following the Fortnite storyline baby. Pink is back with us. Oh my god. So here is my most favorite part of this season's storyline for now. Dr. Doom brought his entire Latveria country with himself onto the island. When he did that so many people of Latveria started protesting against his choice that he made. But unlike how real life countries rather than beating these people for like going against him and all of that like talking freely dr doom chose the best way to handle this that i have ever seen in my entire life he came to the villagers and he killed them every single one of them burned them their mothers and the children too especially the children no of course not he opened an ice cream shop of his own and started giving away free ice cream to the protesters causing them all to fall in love with him again and stop protesting if that's legit not the best leader of any country of all time then you're definitely lying because which leader of which country will go to the protesters and give them ice cream for free. Biden probably would become best buddies with him. But there is so much more storyline this season. Make sure to subscribe because I'm making 5 videos coming up on the storyline of this season and they're so much fun. I can't wait for you to see them. And for now, click on this video on your screen which is about Mephisto, the devil of Fortnite which I predicted that he's coming to Fortnite and it actually happened. The Halloween event of this season is gonna be about us fighting the devil himself. The Mephisto of Marvel. 